my name is Alice Kent. I'm the advanced based tutor for the Benedetti Foundation Sessions. And this is tutorial number two on the Paganini. Today, we're going to be looking at the world of articulation. So throughout this arranged piece, each theme and variation has something different articulation wise that we need to have a look at and address. As well as doing that, we're going to remember that this is an energised piece, but we have to focus on our breath and feeling focused. So let's get our instruments and let's get going. At the beginning of the theme where we come in, we straight away have to be thinking about articulation, especially in the dynamic that we've been given, which is piano, so quiet. Last tutorial we spoke about how we'd practice this rhythm with a metronome and with scales in order to improve it. So today we're going to think about every little dot, slur, hat, crescendo, direction of bow or even technique that we have to use in order to create the sounds printed. So when we come in Although our two A's are slurred, the second A has a dot on it, a staccato dot. So we want them detached, but in a quiet dynamic. In order to do this, I'm using flat hair on the string and I'm really engaging the muscles here, here and here, because on an up bow, we have to engage those muscles make full contact with the string before making a sound. We would have to do the same on a down bow, but because the up bow is slightly, needs slightly more effort and energy, we're just going to think about it a bit more. So let's play this bit together and when we play it, really think about what you're doing with your muscles and how you're distributing the weight in order to create this articulated sound. Let's do that. Once we've played this short, bum, 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 the next bit is slurred and smooth. So we really have to hear the difference. Try it now and see if you can really make the difference and hear it. Do you hear the difference between your smooth slurred and your bum, 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 really clear articulated bum, bum, bum at the beginning? Practice this. Practice it using scales, practicing it using different notes. Practice. In bar 20, this crotchet is a full crotchet but with an accent. So, we're going to play the two E's before and make sure that the A is a full crotchet with an accent. For the accented note, I'm using flat hair, I'm using a bit more bow and I'm using weight. I'm playing my open strings here. So don't forget, when you're playing open strings or very low positions, if you put your bow too close to the bridge, it won't necessarily speak or sound ideal, especially maybe not at this, in this particular music. But experiment with your sound and see where it sounds best for you and what you like best. The whole time in this first section, whilst I'm articulating, I'm really thinking about the rhythm and I'm dividing the pulse up in my, in my body, in my, in my mind. So, so I'm dividing it in semiquavers. Bop, 
This will be even easier to do with a metronome or a click track. So there's no excuse not to subdivide, and you must. At bar 37, we have a slur tied into an accent. play these, make sure that you have enough bow left after playing the four semiquavers in order to make a good accent on the accented note. I'm going to play two versions. Which one sounds like it's accented, which one doesn't? It was the second one. Hopefully you noticed. In order to play the accented note, I suddenly used more weight, flat hair and a quick bow. And I made sure that I had enough bow in order to play the accented note. The next articulation we're going to look at is in bar 45. We have quite a similar rhythm to when we had in the theme, but it's slower. We have lines, dots and accents, lines, dots and accents, and then a line. Each marking we need to play. So, line, length in the bow, weight. But make sure you leave enough bow for the second A with an accent. Now we get the same again on the G sharp, line, weight and flat hair. I feel that movement because we're on the up bow especially. Make sure that your muscles are engaged and the weight and breathe. Leave enough bow for this accent. At the end of the bar, we have the G natural, the same again. Breathe, relax, play with all your weight, flat hair. Leave enough bow for the accent and the dot. And then G-sharp has a line and it's a full quatrain. This might seem quite pedantic, but the articulations are there for a reason and we really must play them and really practice them. If you practice them slowly and you're patient, you'll get a result quicker. The next articulation we're going to look at is bar 65 where we have pizzicato. For me, this is different from the talus. I'm not going to use two fingers and get as much fleshiness on the string as possible, and I'm not gonna go right in the middle for the fastest possible sound. I'm actually gonna go slightly closer to my left hand for a slightly drier sound, and I'm only gonna use one finger. So it's a slightly drier sound, it's not as... But equally, it's not this short. For me, it's not quite that sound. Experiment with this and check where it is. The other thing is to play exactly in time. The next articulation, 75. We've got two down bow quavers with lines on them. And this bar is with everyone else. You want weight into the string and a bit of bite. So, bow on the string. And we're gonna practice this by moving the string but not making a noise. And then letting it go. Now with the E. Weight on the string, move the string but don't make a noise, and release. Now, that for me was a bit short, so I'm going to try it a bit more length. And then again, that's possibly too loud for mezzo forte. Experiment at home. And use 
vibrato. Bar 76, I would play crotchet with the line, pizzicato with your left hand. Whee! The next technical thing and articulated articulation is this tremolo A harmonic, which we're going to play at the neck over the A on the D string here. Lots of quite quick bows. Here, if we play the harmonic closer to the bridge, the easier and quicker it is to speak. And that's true of all harmonics. After this, we've got an open A tremolo to a half string harmonic A. particular articulation and style, keep the bow tremolo as fast as possible. An excellent exercise for this is to tap your head and rub your tummy and if you can do them at the same time then tremolo and doing a glissando will be dead easy. Jumping ahead if we look at variation six we've got these down bows Sounds a little bit like Michael Jackson. <laughs> we want to use flat hair, quite heavy down bows, and with a good front to each note. So use your weight and sink your arm into the bow. And to make it sound really classy, we're going to add vibrato too. this section with the metronome so that our off beats are bang in time and subdivide one two three four one two three four just like that but then in your mind this tutorial we've covered all the articulations and different styles and attacks using the bow and plucking practice at home trying these different articulations and making them stand out as best you can. If you think that you're doing them, do them more. You have to absolutely make sure that your audience can tell what articulation you're doing. Practice using the scales of C major and A minor, and remember subdivide using a metronome and get used to the pulse. Don't forget to relax, breathe and play. Enjoy it. See you next time.